Back here in the Bay Area, the San Francisco Film Festival returns tomorrow with films and events returning to theaters in person after a two-year online run. This year, more than 130 films are going to be featured. Crown Force Noel Bello gives us a look at opening weekend films and the documentary highlighting the untold story of the murder trial of Huey P. Newton. It was a murder case that put racial issues front and center. First time an Oakland policeman has been killed in nearly 20 years. Now, the documentary film American Justice on Trial examines the untold story of the 1968 landmark murder trial of Black Panther Party co-founder Huey P. Newton. It was a very important trial. Why? Um, because it galvanized the transformation of the American jury. The film is based off the 2012 book, The Sky's the Limit, written by author and retired California judge Lisa Perlman. The film features interviews with legendary Bay Area journalists, Belva Davis, and people who were involved in the trial, including David Harper, the first black man to serve as a jury foreman on a major murder case. And to have this jury have seven women and four minorities, and one of them being African-American who became the foreman, was um, groundbreaking. Perlman says she wrote the book after realizing some major scholars had forgotten about the trial's impact on America. We now expect to see diverse people on a jury. I think we need to diversify every aspect of our justice system uh, to help repair, um, repair it and restore people's faith in it. <laughs> American Justice on Trial will be featured Friday evening alongside two short films, all of which examine black legacy, vulnerability, and history. My focus has always been on the power of diversity. This year marks the 65th year of the SF Film Festival. Of the 130 films slated, more than half were created and directed by black and indigenous filmmakers. It's wonderful juxtaposition. It, it is so timely um, and it is so important. The SF Film Festival runs until May 1st. In San Francisco, Noel Bello, Cron 4 News.